These are just a few of my favorite pole conditioning exercises for your upper body. Um, your basic pole hold, you're going to want to make sure that your wrists are in neutral, that your shoulders are down and away from your ears, and that you're actively pulling your shoulder blades together and down in your back. You can also make it a little bit more difficult by working bent knee crunches while you're doing your pole hold. That helps to strengthen your hip flexors. If you really want to work your lower abs, you can do straight leg lifts while you're in your pole hold. Make sure that you're really extending out through your toes so that you're not using your quads to lift your legs. A great way to prep for a pull-up is by working the negative, which is what I call a pull-down. Um, you really want to focus on lowering yourself down with control, and the more that you let your arms extend to straight, the more that you're going to be working on strengthening through your biceps' entire range of motion. You can also work on tuck and tips. Make sure that you really crunch your knees up to your chest and then tip backwards in two completely separate steps so you're not using momentum. It's really important here to pull your shoulder blades together the whole time so that you don't risk pulling your rhomboids. A pull-up climb isn't quite as hard as it looks. When you're first starting, don't reach up quite so high and you're going to be able to use your bicep when your arm is more bent, which is really when it's strongest. Then you can work on arms only climb without using any legs on the pole.